영상의 구성은 다음과 같습니다. 그럼 한번 시작해 볼까요? Now, your circadian system can't just decide it's bedtime and knock you out. Now, your circadian system can't just decide it's bedtime and knock you out. Now, your circadian system can't just decide it's bedtime and knock you out. Now, your circadian system can't just decide it's bedtime and knock you out. So, overall, this video was about something called your circadian system or your circadian rhythm, which is basically just your 24 hour body clock. That's mm. the simplest way I think I could explain it. Okay. Okay. So, um, and then they, it goes on and talks, you know, way more about it in terms of, you know, it, are you an early bird or a night owl, but, mm -hmm. um, your circadian system. So the rhythm that your body has for this 24 hour clock usually has kind of, you have a, a setup system of when to wake up and when to fall asleep. Mm. You know, right. I mean, maybe you've even found that to be true is if you don't look at your clock, do you tend to fall asleep about or get tired the same time in the evening? And if you don't set an alarm, do you generally speaking, wake up at the same time in the morning? So that's your body finding its rhythm and mm. your circadian system kind of kicking into action. Gotcha. Okay. How, how do you pronounce a circadian one more time? That's exactly it. Circadian. Circadian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, so you could break that up into sir, mm -hmm. which sir. is C though. Circadian. Circadian. No, circadian. Circadian. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit of a tongue twister. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so one of the sentences here, and we can talk about the phrase knock you out. Now your circadian system can't just decide it's bedtime and knock you out. Mm. Yeah. So have you heard the expression knock you out before? I think I have. Yes. Okay. And when you heard it, do you, what do you think it meant? Because it can mean several things. So you always have to look at you can't just look at the words only. You have to kind of look at everything else around to make sure you have the right meaning of something. Yeah, I mean, I usually uh, get confused with, you know, other uh, phrasal verbs, but you know, I have to literally listen to the like you know the whole sentence in order to find out the meaning. Yep, and you should. I would have to if you just gave me those three words. I would mm -hmm. say I I don't know what it means unless I see how it's used. Yeah, we need context. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So, okay. So in context here, to knock someone out just means to make someone fall asleep. Mm. Okay. So, you know, in boxing, right? Fist fighting, if you're going to knock your opponent out, mm. that's a completely different meaning of knock someone out, right? Right. He knocked that person out in the first round, <laughs> right? But here... It's more of a figurative because there's no knocking or hitting happening. It's that um, your circadian system can't just put you to sleep. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how'd you like to try that sentence in the green? I know circadian is not an easy word. Okay. Let me try it. Now, your circadian system can just decide it's bedtime and knock you out yeah perfect that was really well done thank you, you. said it exactly correct so good job thank you okay <laughs> other sentence to use the phrase knock someone out is like for example if you take sleeping pills mm. those sleeping pills he took really knocked him out gotcha meaning that he just fell asleep really easily maybe even quickly because of taking the sleeping pills so it's all related to falling asleep Mm. Okay, how about that sentence now? The sentence, uh, those sleeping pills he took really knock him out. Yep, say knocked again. Knocked. Nope, knocked. Knocked. There you go. Wow. It's, I know it's really common to not pronounce that ED mm -hmm. on the end. Mm -hmm. So 
if you know that that's a potential common mispronunciation, something mm. that you might pronounce wrong, I'd say if you see it come in in a sentence, just kind of go like on alert. Right, right. Right. And and that's, I mean, I think that's even common for some English speakers, right? And mm -hmm. especially if you're speaking quickly. Uh, he took really knocking out. Right. Knocked, duh, duh. Knocked, knocked, knocked him out. Knocked him out. Knocked him out. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, synonyms for knock him out. So kind of like a little bit like the definition, put to sleep. So those sleeping pills really put him to sleep mm -hmm. or make drowsy. You know what drowsy means? Well, it's like uh, not like, what, what is the word? You are not present. Mm. No, it's different. No, that must be different. I, I would say like to make drowsy would be sleepy. Sleepy. Okay. Sleepy. Yeah. Yep. And make tired. So mm. those are kind of all probably make drowsy, make sleepy, make tired are all pretty similar. But this would be a great example of where, you know, it would be good to use the phrase knock someone out instead of one of those other maybe more boring. Mm. I see. Okay. So. Um, how about you? Do you want to try a sentence for knock you out or knock yeah, someone out? Yeah, I have a really good, I just came up with a really good sentence. Okay, I'm excited to hear it and I hope I think it's as good as you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a confession. Uh oh, right. is this a true confession? Uh, it is actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's based on my experience. All right. And it it happens every night. Oh. So I have a confession. So right before my bedtime, reading a book in English knocks me out, knocks me out easily. <laughs> um, I think that is, well, in the first place, that's a great sentence. Thank and you. It's and a, true. It's a, well, and it's a good use of the expression, but I would say that is not surprising. <laughs> well, right, really? because, you know, if English or isn't your native language, you know, your, your brain is kind of working overtime processing what you're reading. And if it's the end of the day and you might be tired anyway. Right. I a hundred percent agree. Yeah. And I mean, I, yeah, go ahead. No, you go. I mean, I have no problem like a, uh, speaking Korean for like eight hours, nine hours a day. But when I actually have to speak English for even like just 30 minutes, my brain is literally like, you know, started getting overload and then just like a shutting down and I was exhausted. Yeah. What is yeah, the... no, I think that's well said. Yeah, seriously. So I usually hit the wall after I speak English for 30 <laughs> minutes. And it's time for you to crash. Yes, crash. Exactly. <laughs> Look at yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing such a good job. And it, if it makes you or anybody else listening feel better, I read every night before I go to bed. Gotcha. But I read in English and I am a native English speaker. And sometimes that even can knock me out. <laughs> well, really? I mean, right? You're tired. It's the end of the day. And I don't know about you, but I read laying down in bed. So my body, my circadian system nice. is saying, hey, let's time. It's time. Let's knock you out. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, keep reading. Okay, I will. Okay. 